Hey guys, this is Muff from DKI Gaming. Um, I'm going to be reviewing a game now called Prince of Quinn that came out in 2002, around about the same time as Diablo 2. So you probably never heard of it. The game type would be RPG from Bird's Eye. The main plot would be in the single player to go find out the true story behind why your father asked you to commit suicide, which is pretty much the basis of the start of the game. I'm going to be showing you the multiplayer part of this game through this video, so yeah. I always go muff, because that's who I am. I'll make a new character to show you the character stuff. In the first page you get to view the, um, the specific types of characters, the little bio between them, and what they're good at depending on which one you pick. I normally pick um, Wizard and uh, yeah, this one because he's got more MP, so you just keep casting. Um, yeah, the magic you get to use is all pretty based on the specific characters you use and basis is around the five elements. Um, yeah everything's based around base normal RPG kind of game yeah first thing you do is talk to this guy to get quest off him yeah this game starts off relatively easy um, considerably long game um, this about the only thing I dislike about it is the length is because it's a tad too long for when it was made. The graphics are pretty good, but yeah, because of the age of the game, you also have to run it um, quite low compared to what m most computers will run games now. But it doesn't look too bad for the age that it came out, and it graphically beats Diablo 2. Which, although a lot of people say there's not really any point um, and it doesn't mean anything even though it does, I still prefer games that had better graphics. The rain does look a tad repetitive, but yeah. Um, some of the random events that can happen when you're leaving the later stages of the game, when you go between areas, um, it throws you into a random sort of instance um, that it has some stronger guys in it but you normally don't worry about them because you can just run straight through them if you want to kill them for the extra little bit of money or um, experience it's up to you at the minute I'm just trying to go until I level up oh there we go you can also make custom weapons in this game depending on the materials you pick up like out of this tree um, yeah and that one and the rock there um, also because of the age of the game it does have a few little bit of clipping errors um, some of the abilities mess up on the occasion but they did in Diablo 2 as well um, major likes about the game would have been the simplicity and the immense complexity depending on how you play the game and depending on the character you ch um, choose it changes um, quite a few endings to the game I only ever got to it once because I played through legit took my time um, yeah Typical enemies in this are all the Quinn soldiers. They end up being monkeys, um, wolves, and in the later stages, there's dragons. Um, mid game, there's toad sort of things. Um, overall, though, I'd probably give this as our rating system goes back to. Um, out of any rating, the rating system that we're using. Um, we're giving things votes out of shotguns to the face, the more the better. Um, so I'd probably give this an app. Um, I'll just go. 
just leave the area for a second and I'll show you the level up page. Um, see, it's got the little plus next to his face because it means I have things to assign. Um, which the basis um, wizard gets um, these skills, and when you get high enough level, the next tiers unlock. I normally throw in Tornado because it gives you the best advantage. Um, uh, yeah, depending on the stats you also put on there, um, you get different things. The more strengths you have, the more things you can hold in your bag. See, I'm almost full. Um, yeah, Savvy is just leveling up. Charms, trade prices, wisdoms, mana, magic power. Um, strength also increases your base damage, dexterity is dodging and attack speed. Um, attack speed only works for the bow though, so everything else is based off the weapon you've got. Um, and con is the MP regeneration rate and max MP. Um, the game's got a good base storyline. Uh, and you do get to make things out of stuff um, helmets and stuff are all pretty s simple um, depending on where the gold square is in this you can also make a better item depending on the level of the item that you put in there so the higher the level the better goes into that spot it also adds together the different texts on this um, materials Cost money to make stuff and then you add a gem depending on how many slots it's got. And you make considerably decent strong weapons. Um, yeah, you got a basis amount of things you can equip. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is my first video for this channel. Um, the main weapons in this game are, as you've seen, the bow, the staff, the bow, the sword, the small dagger, there's three different types of axe, um, there's about 90 different types of um, base armor for paladins, you've got spe class gen um, specific weapons, different types of shields, um, an unidentified system um, yeah, the faults about, or the slight faults about this game are the consistent, um, mess ups, um, which you don't notice while playing the game typically, um, and it's just a small game anyway. Um, yeah. First quest and the first boss, and it's a pretty basic, just to such a get used to the game. The game runs pretty smoothly um, on the newer computers, just because it's, they have the extra power to run it. On the older computers, it used to um, consistently lag. Holding ALT also lets you see any items you've missed on the ground, 